The ANZ is another bank reeling from the uncomfortable findings of the Banking Royal Commission. Elise Morgan spoke with boss Shane Elliott, who is calling the end of the golden years for banks, predicting more red tape and less profit for shareholders. Shane Elliott, you've said today that revenues in future will be essentially harder to come by uh, because of intense competition as well as the impact of increased regulation. In what forms do you think increased regulation will come? Well, you know, we've already seen that. We've seen a strengthening of standards from APRA and ASIC, and those are good things. I mean, we're not complaining about those. We've seen speed limits put on certain parts of our, our growth, although there were some changes to remove some of those recently. And undoubtedly, the Royal Commission is going to have an impact. I mean, there's no point in having the Royal Commission if there's not going to be change. So there will be change. I don't know exactly what that will look like, but it's very likely to be more regulation, more process, more requirements. And those are good things, but they will have an impact on the industry and you know we'll have to adapt. I, I imagine it's going to be a little bit harder for people to get access to finance. So what do you think will be the biggest implications? Do you think it will be lower profits for big banks, high costs uh, for consumers or just that it will be harder for consumers so to get finance? Yeah so what we know and you know and it's hard to, to get a draw a, a perfect analogy from the past but what we know when we have seen changes to industry structures in the past the cost of that generally they get shared right and they get shared either shareholders take a little bit less profit consumers have to pay a little bit more not necessarily in dollars maybe paying by having to wait a little bit or being a bit tougher or access to credit and of course our staff have to pay as well we'll push on productivity I imagine that what we'll do is we'll really have to kind of suck it up here in terms of cost and being really tightly managed to make sure that we can maintain good levels of customer service, absolutely meet community expectations, but do it at a lower cost. We see in your numbers today that funding costs are starting to rise, if marginally, but the trend is definitely on the upward. The Reserve Bank is going nowhere in the short to medium term. How easy is it going to be for the bank in this heated environment with the Royal Commission if you need to protect margins to raise interest rates outside of the Reserve Bank? Well, look, we have to run our business and I, I don't know what the future holds in terms of our cost of funds. You're right, there are some early and limited signs that it's getting a little bit more expensive to raise money, certainly in the, in, in the wholesale markets, not so much from uh, deposits. The reality is we have to run our business and, and we, as long as we make decisions responsibly, ethically, looking at all of the stakeholders, we'll make decisions as appropriate uh, for the time. The APRA review into Commonwealth Bank culture out today is scathing. The Treasurer this morning said that all executives, particularly in uh, financial businesses, should read the report. Do you think that you have anything to learn? from Commonwealth Bank? Undoubtedly we will. We have lots to learn on all sorts of things. I've read the uh, summary of the report. We've been focusing on our results today, but I have read the summary. I've read the recommendations. Yes, there will be things there for us to learn. We've already set up a team today that are working on our own self-assessment to look and say, what are the things that we can do better, can learn? Where are the areas that we may, we may have issues that we can learn from? So undoubtedly we will. We'll report that to our board in the coming weeks and ultimately to APRA. But you know, at least that's which, not... Which bits in, in the recommendations that you've read make you think, ooh, we might have some work to do there? Oh, simple things, not uh, terribly difficult. For example, um, sharing audit reports. So when we do internal audits and there's a fail, making sure that our board uh, have access to the full detail of the report. So not a summary, but actually go through that. Well, that's, I think that's a good idea. So we can, but we can action that like tomorrow. And those are the sorts of things that we'll do. So we'll pick up things immediately. And undoubtedly, there'll be some things in there that I haven't got to that'll be a little bit more difficult. Shane Elliott, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.